हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल और वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू लीड कोट वीकली चैलेंज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू द पीपल सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी दैट इट्स डिफिकल्टी लेवल इज इजी सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डू हाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल अबाउट मी रीडिंग दिस क्वेश्चन देन चेकिंग फॉर इट्स कंस्ट्रेन एंड देन बिल्डिंग अप द इंस्टीट्यूशन बिहाइंड दिस क्वेश्चन सो दैट्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन so here let us read this question and we'll go ahead with the constraint you are given an array of string names and an array height that consists of distinct positive integers both array r of length n each of the index i name i and height i denote the name height of the ith person return the names sorted in the descending order by the people side so here the thing is that two arrays are being given to us and in this we are required to sort it in descending order and we are do, required to do the sorting for the height right and according to the descending order sorting of that height we are required to return the corresponding name of that person so this is the thing which we are required to do in this question so let us see in the first example here we are given this mary joan and emma right so here you can see that which one is the biggest height so this is the first one in descending order then second in descending order then third in descending order so according to that only the first would be this third would be this and second would be this so our answer is mary is the first second is emma and third is the joan so it's all about that we are required to sort it according to the descending order for our height and then what would be the corresponding name to that we are required to return that so here there is linking between two arrays that's the thing which we are required to keep in mind so the thing is that th- this is straight forward a question regarding hashing basically we are required to create the connections between the two arrays and then according to that we are required to return our answer it could also be done with the help of custom comparators but that will be much more complex to do so i don't we use a something which is much more easy way to do so here let us check for the constraint so here you can see the constraint that n equals to names dot height dot length that simply means that both of them are equal in length so we don't need to create a test case that we need to check that if either of them are not of same height so there won't be answer right and then we are required to return zero in that case so in that context we are not required to keep a check on that then the end is basically till 10 is to power 3 so that simply means that here range square solution would also easily work and then length of basically uh, basically the words which are being there in each name its length is 20 and even the height goes till 10 to the power 5 only although these constraint don't matter much to us for time being the way we will be doing and the name i consists of lower and upper case letters and all the value of heights are distinct so these all things give us a lot of hints so let us now go ahead and check that how we are required to do this question means building up the intuition of the question so here is the explanation for the same so let us take one example like this don't go on the heights because i know human heights are not like this this uh, it is a random example so there should be some sort of mapping slash hashing between names and height right then only we can easily uh, when we sort that in descending order then according to that only we can return that names right so that's why there should be some sort of linking means hashing or mapping should be there so after a hash is being created then sort according to the height in descending order and that will be accordingly customized sorting for the name as well so here the main role is only for the hashing so now let us take that in that our example only the show us the descending order right so corresponding to that whatever name was there we would be returning and that would be our answer so here whole role is of hashing so new now comes the role of hash uh, for hashing what you want to use basically hashing we are required to do so surely we would be required to use some uh, data structure as well right else in which you will be storing that 
so that's why other we can use array for hashing or we can use map now in that context also the part can that if duplicates are allowed then we can use array right because map do not allowed any duplicate so for this purpose we are required to check the question and the question in the constraint it was directly mentioned that no duplicates are there all are distinct right so we can easily use map in this question so now comes the part basically there are three types of solution which we can use here so the first type of solution is by array only right for hashing in that array only we can either use the custom comparator right or we can use the reverse sorting of that particular array so these are the two ways by which we can do this question while using array and then comes the part by using map so in map we can directly use the inbuilt uh, sorting but in the reverse order so it will easily do complete our question or we can even use the priority queue because in priority queue all the sorting is being there right so there we will be using the mask key which will sort it in the decreasing order right and that will give us our answer so this was all about the explanation about this question that in which manner we can use so the time complexity will be simply order of n log n any sort of method we use out of these three everyone would be having the time complexity n log n just because of the fact because we are sorting and the space complexity that would be also order of n in all of these three cases even if it is a custom comparator because in that also we would be using one more array for uh, for short uh, for our cust uh, short customized sorting right so that's why uh, all of these would be having same time complexity and same space complexity so now comes the part that which method we are we can use so if everyone is having the same time complexity and space complexity so it's better to use the one that is much easier to implement right so here is the part that which is the much easier to implement so here is the thing so here i have implemented the map one which is a much easier to implement so here okay i have taken this map and in this first uh, i have taken the key as my height because i am required to sort it according to height only right so that's why i have taken the key as the height and then string is my name right because value is required to be returned and we are not considered with that is it sorted or not we are only considered with this particular thing that is at end right and that greater end means that now the map will be sorted not in increasing but in decreasing order so that's why we put this greater end so now comes the part that how we are required to insert it so we will be inserting like the way we insert pairs in our map right so height of i and names of i would be inserted and then i have taken my implementation here is like this that i have taken this as global so that i am not required to use a, a what we say that uh, two loops inside the same so that's why i have taken this int of i outside and now i will be just reversing our map and in that map only i'll take uh, the first element and then that element i'll directly add to my input one and here only i'm incrementing the i and according to that only i will be returning my name so according to this we will be easily able to complete this question and it was also accepted here you can see it was accepted right so this was all for this question if you have any doubt you could comment that down and if you like the explanation you could like and subscribe to my channel and before ending this video i would like to introduce you about the newton school coding challenge basically you could find about the same in the description below uh, basically newton school is going to start with its uh, coding challenges and so you can directly enroll into the same and that would be much helpful for you in that context that if you are doing the eco daily challenges the weekly challenges or even the bi weekly ones so it would be much helpful for more and more coding practice so you get enroll into the same so this was all for today thank you